What's going on guys? Mike with Tiger Supplies and today we're going over the most popular prism surveyors use out in the field. Each has their own different style and used with their own different tasks and we're going to cover those basics for you. So jumping into it you have three main categories. You have your standard prism, you have your 360 prism, and you have your monitoring prisms. Um, standard prisms, those are typically used with manual total stations. They have the target with the optical lens in the middle, and they actually excel a little bit in those high distance applications. Your next category is going to be the 360 prisms. And now these are used with the robotic total stations, okay? They have that iconic six-sided look to them, and it's just the nature of using a robot, right? It's a one-man operation, so you control the gun from your prism pole, and obviously the prism is on there. So um, you must use 360 prisms with your robots. Now, the next will be the monitoring prisms. They typically have the L bracket shape to them, um, and that's because they get mounted on buildings, walls, tunnels, railroad tracks, really anything that you're trying to monitor the movement of, okay? And you can use these both with a manual or robotic total stations, and we've actually seen some more robust uh, setups where you have an automated total station, a robotic total station, and it's secured in a safe location, and you're actually able to take points every few hours off of those prisms, okay? So it's completely remote, uh, completely automated, no one even has to be there. So that's a really cool setup we've seen. Now, you actually have a subset of all these three main prisms, and they're called mini prisms. And that's exactly what they are, the smaller version of themselves. And you use these when you need pinpoint accuracy, okay? Um, the general rule of thumb is the smaller the prism, the higher the accuracy, but less range, okay? Um, and even furthermore, we have a few more prisms out there that are really niche. You have corner prisms, 90 degree prisms, 220 degree angle prisms. Um, some are even mining prisms where you'll have a standard prism that has LED lights flashing on the target so that it can help the guy working the gun actually find the prism much easier because it's, uh, it's a dark location that they're working in. So again, you now know the three main types of prisms, their main subset, which is a mini, and a few other applications that may help you out.